Hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Hello. It's Friday for them, right? Hello. Hello. It's been a crazy week, you guys, and it's going to be even crazier for us, so we're going to have to explain to you what's been going on. But first of all, this gives you a little hint. Me, sitting here. Sitting here, on the phone, on the computer, writing emails, Make making phone calls. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So, uh, you go ahead. What do you want? You want me to? Sure. <clears throat> So I've been asked to, um, I've been asked to lead uh, a group of 30 people to Houston, to the Houston this area this weekend for Hurricane Harvey disaster cleanup efforts. And so we have a total of I think nine work orders that we're going to be working on over the next few days, and just helping people clean out their houses, take out carpeting, drywall, remove appliances, things like that, and. Um, I have literally been working on this as my second full-time job for the last few days. Can't work and attest to that. So, yeah, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, so he's been making calls. He's been trying to organize all these teams and also following up with these folks down in the Houston area that need help. So we're really excited for the opportunity to help. But it's made the last few days really busy, so we don't have a vlog for you today, and I'm really sorry. We're going to keep taking footage over the next few days, but we're not going to put another vlog out until Tuesday. Is that right? Well, you're going to be home late on Sunday. Probably Tuesday. We'll say Tuesday just to be safe. If you get one on Monday, it'll be a surprise, special surprise. <laughs> but we're going to keep getting footage, but I don't have anybody to edit it because Scott's the master editor. So, he's been doing other things because they're important things. So... Yes, so you talked a little bit about what you're going to be doing. Yeah, so let me just give you an idea of some of these folks that we're going to be helping. There's a, there's a lady here, I was just reading about her. So we're using a website called crisiscleanup.org. And what, what people have done is they fill out their needs and then they submit it to Crisis Cleanup. And then we go in there as a team and we collect those, those, uh, that information and then we say, Can we, do we have the supplies to go to this location and help? Where there's help needed and to give you an example we have a lady on here who hey big guy sorry we didn't get to say hello to Tish yet pause hello Tish hello how are you good I like your haircut Indeed. do you like your haircut mm -hmm. it's handsome this, yeah this it's, is you, dry. Can, you can see again this is dry. it is dry all right isn't it okay can you say hello to everybody hello say how are you how are you how are you <laughs> Are you having a good day? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's let Daddy tell the story. Party. Oh yeah, Peter Parker. I think that's, that's, not Peter Parker. that's not Peter Parker. That's Spider Man. That bad Spider Man. Black Spider Man. Okay. Back to the story. You ready? Go ahead, Daddy. So anyway, um, there there's this lady, and um, she's in her 80s, and she was unable to leave her home. It got flooded. She's still in her home. There's still water in her home. She doesn't have food. She doesn't have water. The sheriff's department submitted her lead and, and they've been following up with her and so hopefully she's okay but um, but she needs some help and um, she needs help gutting out her house and she also needs food and water so that way she can survive and so it's it's pretty devastating we're going to be outside of Beaumont which got hit really really hard the area got hit really really hard there are homes here that had some of them had six to eight feet of water I think you're moving out oh no it's good um, I had six to eight feet of water inside their house. I mean, if you can imagine, I'm, I'm almost six feet tall. I'm six foot, or five foot eleven, and it would come up to over my head. The water, the water level came up to over my head. This is swimming, having a swimming pool and you're downstairs, basically. Not the fun kind of swimming pool. No, dirty, gross water kind of swimming pool. But anyway, so. Daddy's telling about his project. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, we, we've got to go down there and, and help. And it's been very like humbling to like read some of these stories of some of the folks that we're going to be working with over the next few days, uh, as I've been doing it over the last few days. And um, uh, just really like heartbreaking to think that there are people that are out there right now who are suffering. And I'm here like just typing on my computer going about day as, the day is normal. This is two, five hour, two to five hours away from us. Probably three, you know, probably three and a half to five hours away from us. It's like this is, the whole world has been like uprooted and destroyed. And it's, it just makes me feel awful. So 
We're, I'm happy to go down there. It's, it's been a hard few days, these last few days, but I'm really happy to get down there and, and, um, and help. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. So they're going to be taking a few different things because you don't always know what's available depending on where they're going to be. So they're going to take a generator, they're going to take some different tools. We've got Scott's um, bag food packed here with some little minor essentials, just something that's easy. I had him get a little mini first aid kit. I told him it's not going to save anybody's life, but in case somebody gets hurt. And some good immune boosters because I know they'll be a little bit stressed some little other things toothbrushes deodorant some snacks that are hearty snacks that'll last a while so he's got some gloves and he's gonna take the wheelbarrow and the broom what else are you taking uh, I'm gonna take probably take my drill okay and I'm gonna take hammers crowbars oh yeah you got those in the car it? nope gloves you gotta have masks because there's mold growing now. Yeah, especially with the heat this week. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we have to wear long sleeves and long pants the entire time. Yeah, yeah. that's gonna be. Tough. Yeah, they're sleeping on the in a gymnasium, right? A high school gymnasium. Yeah. So they've got cots and sleeping bags, and they're gonna have the men sleep on one side and the women sleep on the other side. If there are women that are coming as well, some families are coming with them. And um, yeah, so they're letting youth ages 12 and up help. So any of these families that have kids that are 12 and up can help. So Micaiah barely missed the mark on that one. She was kind of sad, but. It's okay, Micaiah, Micaiah doesn't do so well in the heat. Yeah, oh, she would really she would do well in a situation where she was helping people though. Well, you know, she almost, she's almost passed out a couple times. When she's running. When playing frisbee. I mean, this is exerting herself all day though. So well, I know, but she wouldn't be exerting herself She'd to probably the level do that you well, guys would. I, I would worry about her. I would worry about her more. Just because I'm not there. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> that's just being honest. Baby Kevin's playing. We're trying to clean up a little bit. Vacuum. And Kevin's playing in her exercise with her horsey friend. Hello. It's kind of quiet around here, huh? Daisy's taking a snooze. No, she woke up. She's trying to take a snooze. And Tace is being Tace. He's climbing on the counter for some reason. I don't know why. Oh, look at all my little baby hairs. You guys are coming in now after baby, baby hairs. All your hair falls out if you have a baby and then it all comes back in and it looks so great for so long. What are you doing? I don't know. You don't know? Are you trying to get into something you're not supposed to? No. Well, then I think you should get off the camera. No, I didn't. How come? I have, I'm hungry. Oh, well, then let's get you some food. Okay. What would you like to eat? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> that is not the food cabinet. I do like Um, those are vitamins. I like them. I know, you already had your vitamins today. Another one. Nope, we already had it today. Let's go get your, uh, some food. Okay? Mm. Come with me. Uh, anyway, Scott, is there anything else? We're trying to get prepped, so they're leaving really early tomorrow morning. They're gonna go for Saturday and Sunday. And um, they're gonna work really hard. Yeah. Huh. So. Uh, well, hold on, just a second. Oh, let's, let me, let's close it out. Oh, right okay. Um, so we need to say goodbye for a couple of days. Yep. And. Uh, but we'll try and I'll try and if you're not following us on Instagram, come follow us on Instagram at Scott Camber because I'll try and post any updates or pictures that you send me or anything like that on Instagram so that we can have some connection with you over the next couple of days. I have to do it. Oh, you want to close it out. Okay, just in it, we're not quite ready. So, if you're not following on, in, on us, uh, us on Instagram, that's what I'm trying to say, come do that and then we can connect that way too. It'll be a little easier. Cool. Yeah. All right, hey, remember over the next few days, guys, you can do amazing things. And if there's any way that, <laughs> and if you can help out in any way, uh, wherever you're at, then, um, you know, try to make a little sacrifice to do that. We love you. Yeah, you're Take all care. still in our prayers. Those in Florida and in the Keys and in the Caribbean and in South Texas. Can I do it? We pray for you every day. Take care of each other. Keep being safe. And you can do amazing things. You can do amazing things.